the government gives you options that you have to make choices. What's the right one for you when it comes to the COVID? Well, good morning and welcome back to Consider This Program. I'm your host, Joe Clark. And I'm Grant Sullivan. We are going to talk about on Consider This Program what to do with government, hmm, give me s- it's your own money, right? <laughs> right. But, that, but that's how they look at it. Where they, um, rules change, and, and, and here's what I want you to write down, and if you don't listen to the next 11 minutes of this show, that's fine. Um, all tax policy is social policy. Whatever Congress wants you to do, they're going to, um, they're going to do things that give you advantages for doing said things, right? So for instance, um, if I would have taken Grant to dinner last year, which I did, he can eat a lot, by the way, if you're not (laughs) watching this on video, you should know that. Um, if I would have taken Grant and I did to dinner last year, I could deduct exactly 0% of that. Suddenly in 2021, if I took you to dinner, how much do you think I can deduct? Probably the same, zero. A hundred percent. No kidding. And that's because all tax policy is social policy. We need money back in restaurants. We need money back in there. So all of a sudden, if I take you to a restaurant, if I take the team to a restaurant, we can deduct every single penny of it. 48 ounces, here I come. Nah, nope, 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 nope. <laughs> that doesn't mean you get to eat more. Oh, darn it. All right, so... <laughs> Go ahead. Fire up your question. So when it comes to these coronavirus-related distributions, uh, we can can obviously start from being able to take money out of qualified plans, increases there. But one of some of the bigger questions actually relate to, Joe, kind of like you said, social policy and these stimulus checks. So a lot of people, there's confusion. There's also even probably, I would argue, some things out there on the Google that are maybe incorrect. The Google. The Google. Well, I, I don't I don't know if they're incorrect as much as um just be leery. Right? That's fair. That's probably fair. I mean, yeah. there there are people who sit back with a drink at night and try to figure out ways to manipulate the system. Right? And and I can give you some ways to manipulate the system. That doesn't mean that you necessarily should. Correct. Right? I mean um, we call it poking the bear at the Clark household, right? So it's, uh, I mean, it's okay to play with dad, right? It's okay to have some jokes and some fun, but my kids know when they're poking the bear, right? As kids do. As kids do. And, um, and you as is part of our team probably <laughs> know when you're poking the bear too, right? Uh, yeah, I've got caught. Um, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it's right. So. So what's happening, and, uh, and Ed Slot is a, is a dear friend of mine, and uh, you can go to irahelp.com. Ed is probably the, the, the two top people in the country who are IRA experts are Natalie Choate. Uh, that's who deals with most of the CPA firms. I read everything she writes. And then Ed Slot, who does it from the consumer perspective. Um, and I, I was on Ed board, Ed's board for over 10 years. Um, part of that group. It was one of the co-founding members. Uh, I Understanding IRAs, it's three simple initials and a very complex tax code that goes along with it. And in an IRA and a 401k are two entirely different things. Even if you're the president and say they're the same, you're wrong. Just just want to put that out there. Um, right. So, so the rules... The rules do change, and one of those rules that came out this year, or this last year, I should say, in 2020, was that you ha- had the ability to pull $100,000. You have to have that much money, but you had the ability to pull $100,000 out of your 401k, mm-hmm. 403b, or your IRA without enduring the 10% federal penalty, and you could pay the taxes over three years. Mm-hmm. Now, Grant... The deal was that you had to be COVID affected. So I want to find some, I'm, I'm looking, please, if, if you're the one, call me. I'm trying to find somebody who wasn't affected. Right. Right. I mean, I had a, I've got a brand new office building that we built in 2019 that I had to shut down for 90 days twice. 
right? I got 29 people that are staying at home. I've got people that are restricted because they were around somebody else that was pot. I want to know somebody in the United States who wasn't impacted, right? And, and the fact that the IRS did not say, here's what the definition of impacted means really kind of cracked me up, right? I mean, I dare somebody to tell me I wasn't impacted. Now, right. Barb and I never got it. But don't tell me I wasn't impacted, right? But here's the deal. So, and, and this is perfectly legit. Um, in fact, I filled out the paperwork to pull 100 grand out of my 401k. And I couldn't sign my name. <laughs> You were testing, Joe. Dean you was, were testing. Dean was really frustrated. <laughs> Dean's our Dean's in our Lafayette office. He runs our four hundred one K and he's uh, our social security specialist and it's kinda like I went through all of the and you wouldn't sign the paper. Paperwork. Yeah. No, I, I couldn't. Um but the deal was they would give me a hundred thousand dollars. I didn't have to pay a ten percent penalty. I'm fifty four, not fifty nine and a half. And uh, and I could take the money out over, or I could pay the taxes over a three year period of time. Mm-hmm. Now this led nefarious people into the opportunity to recognize that that is the same rule that we used back in 1998 to allow people to do Roth conversions, where you pulled money out of a 401k or an IRA and paid the taxes over a two year period of time to get them into a Roth as opposed to the other, right? So you could, you could maximize your tax rate opportunities if you were. Um, and, you know, it's, I mean, listen, guys, we're, we're in crazy times, right? I mean, you're always going to find people who live on the edge. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, Congress is trying to figure out a way to help keep us alive, those that are the most harmed, Right. And um, it's not it's not my job. It's not your job to figure out the ways to most manipulate that tax code. And, you know, I I, I mean, anybody who's listened to the show that I take care of and there's lots of you. I mean, you know, I will I, I don't live in the gray. Right. But I mean, I, I will press every tax code that's out there. This is not one that I felt like should have been pressed. I don't necessarily disagree because, uh, particularly in the 401k world, um, there's we put restriction on qualified plans because, again, it's a savings vehicle first. And so, this for some individuals who maybe necess- who needed a 401k plan to help them save payroll deduction, it opened an unfortunate door that once they walked through it, it was hard to close. Yeah, my my fear is that people took money out that they could get out that they have no capacity to be able to put back in. You know, so, I mean, Grant knows this. My, my life, and, and my wife will tell you, uh, my, the end of my career is dedicated to two things. It's to um, being the trustee, uh, what I call the financial fiduciary and family friend. Uh, and the second is to helping people understand, defined distribution. Um, I think when we start programs, we should always begin with the end in mind. And, you know, when people started to find contribution plans back in 1980, um, they thought about putting money in. And as a professional asset manager, it's really our job to help you get it out. Now, we get paid to help you manage it while it's in there, right? Which is why I tell you everybody's on the wrong side of the dadgum trade. Um, You know, my... My strength, my business advantage is that we manage money and we do it well and we communicate well and we do that while money's inside of plans. But what you need me for, what you need my team for, what you need Grant for is to helping you understand how to get it out in the most tax efficient manner possible where you can actually use money to be able to support your standard of living. That's our job, right? That that is our call. That's what we signed up for. And so we, we live in this crazy, crazy, crazy world of where tax codes change and, and things change. And, and, and you know, we, we can say the COVID was a, a one-off event. Hopefully it is. But it's not likely. It's not likely. You know, I started two weeks before the crash in 1987, Grant. That was unlikely. The tech wreck in 2000 was unlikely and really and truth be told it was unlikely to occur on the day that it occurred 
but it was very likely to occur. The housing crash that occurred in 08, very unlikely to occur October 9th, but very likely to occur. I can't tell you that March 27th was the day that COVID should have happened in 2020, that it was acknowledged or that Congress did something about it. But for us to think that, you know, we're done, right? The vaccine's out, woohoo, right? Um, no. You know, we've got more coming, folks. And somebody, somebody, whether that be you or us, has to help you figure out how to deal with that retirement account have to deal with how we transfer assets from one generation to another, how we make sure that your spouse is okay when you're not here. Somebody has to do that. Back to you, Grant. Um, And again, going back, going back to the title of this, sorry, I stepped away from the mic there, um, is, is this a gift that you should, you should take? In a lot of cases, Joe, you make a great point. I don't think there's a single, a single person out there not affected, but if you did take a coronavirus related distribution to Joe's point, find a way to get that back in there. If you did it at a pre 59 and a half age, because Joe is correct, it just does bad things to you long-term. And so it, when coming, when it comes to distribution and retirement planning, find someone who's going to take care of you. Who's going to, who's going to look at you and put yourself put themselves in your situation. Yeah, there, there were probably a lot of people who should have taken the money out that, again, we get paid to manage assets, right? right? So every time I send you a check for $100,000, my income went down. There are probably a lot of people who didn't get the support that they needed. But for those of you who did, um, figuring out the best way to put it back in is going to be critical, understanding that tax structure. Hey, give us a call, 800-928-4001. Get signed up for your next steps meeting. We'll give you things to consider today, things to consider in your future. And if we choose to partner together, what FEG will do for you, and we'll put it in writing. 800-928-4001.